Good afternoon, Okie Dokie Explorers. We are on our way to the town of Stockholm. I have done a drive-by of Stockholm before, but we didn't do any history or anything else, nor have we included the Stockholm station area into the same video. I think we may have had some drive-bys on it and some B-roll, but it's a pretty part of the world, and we are going to head that way. And we have pilot and the wee one in Doki today as we roll to find some new areas that you haven't seen. See Oklahoma, we have trees here. Mm -hmm. Just get in the way of the road some days. Mm -hmm. And some ice damage. And some fire damage. Yep. And they're just not that pretty. Alright. Okay, Okie Dokie Explorers, we are coming up on the pretty place. The pretty place includes the old town of Stockholm's location. So we roll over this next little rise, and pretty place is not in full splendor. Everything is dead. It's winter. It's winter. And there was some fire damage from the fires three, four years ago. Three, um, four, five. 20, five years ago. 2015, I think. Something. Anyways, so it's still pretty red dirt land and it's got rolling hills and it's just an awesome little stretch of land. side of the yeah. hills over here. You can see it cut out of the side of the area. It's not too far up, but it's out of the plain so that it's not flooding. Right. I need to stop back there for the to get good footage of it. That's okay. I think you can see it again here. Yeah. Probably. I did get some decent. That's a good looking fence there. It is. Everybody see a good view of that. Oh, where there's kind of a straight line. I think that's where the old wagon trail from back in the day when pioneers were coming through here. Alrighty. Okay. Good? Yeah. Zoom zoom. exactly was it? I, I'm i trying to remember now exactly where it was. I think most of it's been plowed under. I think it's out there past that grassy knoll. Yeah. Let me go get a picture of the sign. There is next to no history about Stockholm and no one left alive who can tell its story. It and other towns like Cupid and Ava had very short lives they didn't have the raucous reputation of other towns like Beer City and Sod Town. They lived quiet lives. Most of them didn't have even permanent structures or solid houses. Many of them were just tent towns that as soon as everyone was done with their purpose in the area, they picked up and they left. 
What's left of Stockholm has largely been plowed under. There may be some rubble remains here and there, but all that is left of it is a sign, which is more than many towns in the Oklahoma Panhandle have gotten. Most, if you can find a map, are just a faded little dot on the map. Many didn't even last two years. They lived quiet lives, and as soon as their time was over, they quietly disappeared.